All right, y'all, we are live on this beautiful Friday morning. Blessings to everybody in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. I do pray everybody watching and listening is very blessed in multiple ways on this beautiful, sunny morning. Man, it's the nicest day of the week, and here I am inside on the computer on the treadmill. Sheesh. Huge shout out to everybody in the chat. The question for Bitcoin right now, is the pump over? All right. Are we going to break out of this ascending channel and see new highs on Bitcoin today? I have asked you all in the chat to take a poll, and it looks like most of you say Bitcoin is going to make a new high this weekend. Now, I have to remind everybody, make sure to smash up the like button, because if we can get 1,000 likes in the first 30 minutes, right? Three, zero, is that right? I don't know, guys. You know what? It's really messing me up because I'm on mirror mode. This is a mirror camera. All right. Then we'll give away a thousand USDT. Major shout out to the sponsors of the channel. First of all, shout out to Market Cipher, MarketCypherTrading.com. All right. The pencil necks in the chat trying to get me to close my longs. All right. Best indicator on trade view. Shout out to um, Mexi. Best deal on fees right now. I'm trading on Mexi. Got this juicy long trade open from the setup that we gave in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. All right. Told everyone when I took this juicy long trade, and we are still open, baby. All right. Look at this. In the Casper Crew, we literally gave the short from the exact top and the long from the exact bottom. All right. So you shorted the exact top and long the exact bottom. If you're in the Casper Crew, shout out to the Casper Crew. All right, also a major shout out to my other exchanges, Bing X. Bing X, if you sign up right now using my link, you get up to $6,000 to trade. And also I am trading on ZoomX, guys, where I have the other long. Well, actually I'm in a few longs right now. But yeah, I have another long from the setup we gave in the Casper Crew from the exact bottom, from the exact bottom. Shout out to the Casper Crew. Absolutely crushing the charts, man. Wow. From the exact, how is that possible? All right, what a healthy trade this has been, okay? And I wanna give a huge shout out to everybody in the chat right now because here's the truth, guys. When I woke up this morning and I took a look at the chart, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, what I saw actually shocked me, all right? It was shocking, all right? My heart started pounding faster than the time me and Carl from the moon drove his Maserati together to McDonald's to order a Big Mac meal. And by the way, people say, Jason, I don't believe it. This is just a Photoshop picture. Well, I have the video proof. Hello, um, I would like to get a uh, Big Mac meal. And a major, major shout out to everybody in the chat right now. Who do we have in the chat today? Huge shout out to Lucky Jimbo 111. Huge shout out to HFG. He says Mexi is pretty good, but there is more leverage in another platform. Well, if you're judging the platform by how much leverage they give you, I don't know if that's the best way to go, man. But you know, trade wherever you want to trade. You know, that's that's what I'm all about: freedom, liberty, personal autonomy, making your own dang decisions. You know. Shout out to Dazed Trader. He loves it. Shout out to Georgie. Shout out to 007 Nev. He says, it's not a Bugatti. It's a Maserati. I know. I said Maserati. Shout out to Crypto Zorro. Shout out to J-Boy Bullish. All right. That's true. We brought J-Boy Bullish back a kid's meal. I've never eaten a Big Mac in my life, says Free Will. Man, there's a time in my life where I literally would eat fast food multiple times a day, bro. But my, my real drug of toy's choice was Taco Bell. In fact, I'll never forget this one night. I ran half a mile from a McDonald's parking lot to a Taco Bell, and I paid somebody money because I was on foot only, and it was the, the inside was closed, only drive through. I, I paid a random stranger to order me Taco Bell through the drive through in their car because I would rather have Taco Bell than McDonald's, all right? Shout out to that guy from Texas. Shout out to Indy from Cape Town. Shout out to 19 Imperial 88 from the Netherlands. Guys, let me know where you're from in the chat right now. 
I have some views on Bitcoin, all right? I have some views on Bitcoin. Shout out to Daniel S. Says Jason Casper, not a coincidence. <laughs> I know. What, a, what an interesting thing. Shout out to J Boy Bullish, gas station chicken sandwiches. Man, my gas station food of choice is QT. They only have them in the southeast United States. QT, they have these buffalo chicken fingers stuffed with mozzarella cheese. Man, those things, they do a thing to you, all right? They do a thing to you. <laughs> all right. All right, shout out to Robin from Switzerland, from Texas. Just some dude, that's what's up. From Finland, nice. Shout out to my fellow Finnish crypto fighters out there. Shout out to Crypto Owl who says, Jesus is king. Amen to that. From Dubai, from Latvia, from Belgium, from Poland, from Nova Scotia. That's crazy. From South Jersey. What's up? Lion in my pocket from South Jersey. How South are we talking? Are we talking like Tom's River South or are we talking real South? Like, like real South. See, people from North Jersey consider Tom's River South Jersey, but people from South Jersey consider Tom's River Central Jersey. What a strange state. Shout out to Heisenberg. Shout out to Taco Bell. Shout out to Google. From Italy. Nice. That's what's up with the pizza. Shout out to Ryan Hughes. Shout out to Clown Dodger. He's from hell. Interesting. All right. Shout out to... Oh, there's QT in Texas. Interesting. Interesting. QT in Texas. All right. Michigan up in here, verified trader. What's going on from Austria? What is going on from Austria? Shout out to my man from Austria. All right, from Belgium, from Italy. More metal freestyle, please. <laughs> all right, from North Carolina. Man, we got people from all over the world. Louisiana, shout out to all my Louisianians. Costa Rica, that's where I wish I was right now, honestly. That's where I wish I was right now. All right. Yeah, we'll take a look at some altcoins today, Daniel S. So here's the thing. Shout out to shout out to my people from Pakistan up in here. Wow, we got people from Pakistan, India. Shout out to all my my people from India right now. That's crazy. Colombia. Shout out to all my Colombians, my Costa Ricans, my Pakistanis. We got multiple Pakistanis up in here. All right. Awesome. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, now as usual, guys, if we can get a thousand likes in the first uh, thirty minutes, we will be giving away one thousand USDT. And yeah, so full disclosure here, guys. All right, full disclosure. Yes, when I looked at the charts, I was shocked. I was in awe. All right, but what happens today? It really depends on what happens within this range, right? Because so far, Bitcoin is in a macro uptrend, right? If we're gonna take a look here at the chart going all the way back to like a week and a half ago, we made a low, we made a high, we made a higher low, we made a higher high. Now as long, technically speaking, now this is crazy, right? But as long as we don't make a lower low than this, we're still in an uptrend. But what we're all hoping here is that we make a higher low from either where we where we were there, or we come down, in my opinion, I don't want to come down lower than the uh, the Fibonacci golden pocket here, right? Around 65.9, 65.6. Like for me, if we start losing this, man, that's really bad. I'm hoping that this was a higher low, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm still bullish on Bitcoin. Even though there's a lot of bearishness right now, there's a lot of bearishness on Bitcoin right now, I'm gonna tell you why I'm still bullish. Now, again, full disclosure, yesterday, I had an extra $300,000 on Bitcoin longs I do now. I, I, I yesterday, after my stream yesterday, when we failed to make a new high here, I said to myself, look, I'm $70,000 in profit. Let me close half of this, okay? So I've closed half, all right? So, so far now on the longs, I've realized now 10K plus 24K. So we're about 25K plus this trade here. I've, I've, I've also closed about $12,000 worth, about 0.185 Bitcoin realized profits in this trade. All right. So these are my take profits that I've hit on this trade. Okay. So overall, 
You know, we're looking at, I, I've already made over $40,000 since last Wednesday just trading these long trades. So my bullish bias, and I need to make this clear because look, YouTube is all about sensationalism, right? That's what drives the algorithm. If people click your video, then, then YouTube shows your video to more people. So I'm not gonna say I don't use clickbait. Of course I use clickbait, guys. All right. Now, uh, the reason I'm saying this because just because I'm bullish right now, which I am, does not mean you should buy Bitcoin now and it does not mean you should long now. All right. It means I'm already long. I've already made over $40,000 in 10 days. So if I'm wrong, I have already made a lot of money. Okay. I still have portions of my trades open for much lower, which means, look, I, I just, because I know there's not a lot of new people in the space. I've been getting comments, people taking my thumbnails and my titles too literally, guys. Look, I am going to lay out a bullish case and tell you why I still believe there's more chance that Bitcoin makes new high than that we top out here. All right. And um, look, for me right now, I'm full disclosure. I've taken half of my long trades out yesterday. I'm short from the all time high of Bitcoin as well and a hedge. But what I'm doing right here is technical analysis. It's all about probabilities. I'm going to tell you why I still have over $300,000 of exposure to the long side of Bitcoin right now and why I'm expecting another high. But it doesn't mean you should long Bitcoin right now. Okay, let's make this very clear. All right. And this ain't no financial advice anyway. Remember, I'm just a guy on the internet with a Pikachu hat, upside down, crooked glasses. All right. With a plunger on the face. All right. Now, if you think this is financial advice, take a screenshot of this. And then when you lose all your money, look at this picture. And remember that you thought I was a financial advisor when I'm not. All right. Okay. Let's get into the charts. Pop on over to the Bitcoin chart. Technical analysis, a work of art. We're gonna pop on over to the Bitcoin chart. Technical analysis, a work of art. Pop on over to the Bitcoin chart. Got the technical analysis like a work of art. Here we go. Change the flow. Bitcoin on the daily. Let's go. All right. So first of all, the context of Bitcoin, guys, is macro bullish uptrend since 2000 and 22 macro bullish uptrend higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs and also we are seeing the weekly money flow getting thicker over time and momentum getting much higher over time and when the momentum on market cipher b coming out of a bear market crosses over that 60 line well that's very bullish all right that's very bullish Okay, so we know the macro is the uptrend, but we also know now we are printing and have confirmed last week a red dot on the weekly market cipher B. What does this mean? Macro bullish uptrend. But within the next few weeks, we are going to be ranging sideways and down. Right? This is the context that we need to build. We need to paint a little picture. All right, we're like an artiste. All right, an artiste. You know those artistes? So we're an artiste, right? Now, the second thing that we need to remember is when we go sideways and down, it doesn't always mean that we don't wick around like crazy. Look at the last sideways and down weekly red dot that printed. This was the range, right? But within that range, we took the highs. We took the lows, right? It was sideways and down, but we took the highs and we took the lows before getting a next move to the upside. Let's look at the last red dot before that right look at this we establish a high we establish a low right here and then we literally we take the high and then we take the low and then we get the pump it's all the same thing man we could look at this on a higher term scale as well we establish a high we establish a low right here with the red dot and then look we take the high we take the low and then we pump so i am still ex assuming the same pattern is going to play out here okay now when we look at the daily time frame in my opinion, this is still showing us that there's more room to the upside here. All right, we've got a green dot that has printed on Sunday, the same day that the weekly red dot confirmed, we had a confirmed green dot. Now, historically speaking, the confirmed green dots on the daily are powerful enough to give us a new high and wreck the bears, okay? 
when we go to the four hour time frame, what I see here is a money flow cross, right? Money flow cross, money flow getting thicker on the four hour time frame as we consolidate within this range, which any old good old fashioned Carl from the moon technical analysis would come to the chart and say, this is a bull flag, right? This is a bull flag, right? We got ourselves a nice flag pole, a nice flag staff, all right? We got ourselves a nice channel. Now, some people might say it's a diamond reversal pattern. I, I get that argument as well. It could be a diamond reversal, but if it's a bull flag, it's gonna break us out, man. It's gonna break us out to a new high, all right? So money flow getting thicker, and also, we cannot deny the fact that we are even locally in bullish market structure, right? We, we are trading a more macro range here, right? We came down to the low of the range. We made a higher high on the four hour, a higher low on the four hour. But now we've made a higher high on the four hour, potentially making a higher low right here to backtest a very key area. And so now I'm looking for another higher high. The four hour is about to give us a nice green dot with the money flow getting thicker here. Those are powerful signals, all right? Take a look at this. Green dot, money flow getting thicker, bam, right? Take a look at this. Green dot, money flow getting thicker, bam, all right? Now, here's one thing I've learned about Market Cypher over the years, okay? There's a whole bunch of TA snobs out there who say, Jason, Market Cypher is just the RSI with some fancy colors. And, it, and you can't trust it. You know, the only real TA is, it's just, it's too simple. It's just too simple, Jason. You need lots of other tools and you know, all these other things. Look, I, if there's one thing I've learned over the years of my trading is that Market Cypher gives me clarity in the storm. All right. You can zoom out on these high time frames. These signals are, are so reliable that every time I have doubted, I end up regretting the doubt, all right? The last time I was bullish for a long time and started to doubt myself was in this range right here, all right? I was very bullish. People were very bearish. Oh, but Jason bearish this and Jason this and Jason that. I maintained my bullish guns because of the signals that Market Cypher were giving me here and BAM! Ended up making $100,000 on that trade. Actually, 50,000. I'm sorry. Actually, I forget. I took two trades in this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 50K, 50K, 50K. I made 50K long in this. And then I made 50K long in this. Because Market Cypher was giving me some bullish confirmations, right? And so when I see a daily trigger wave and I see the four hour money flow getting thicker, I don't want to, I don't want to doubt and then kick myself later. I'd rather say, Jason, you know, historically speaking, most of the time, these signals print, they end up playing out. Either, but they might not take as long. They might not take as short as you want, but they do end up playing out. All right. So that's where I'm at, guys. All right. Could I be wrong? Of course. Could I give a bearish scenario right now? Of course, I could give a bearish scenario. All right, the bearish scenario is that this was our high. We've come down to make a low, and now we've just made a lower high, and now we're going to make a lower low. And my reasoning for this would have to be the fact that we've changed four hour market structure, and then we've come back for a retest into the Fibonacci Golden Pocket 786 zone. And we're about to massively Bart Simpson this to a new low, probably uh, sub 60K, right? This is a bearish scenario here. Now, if you're a follower of the channel, you also know that I trade multiple scenarios at the same time. This is one of my secrets to being consistent and profitable, right? I am short from here because I recognize that this is very bearish and I am not closing the short. I've closed half of it when I got the very bullish signals. But right now, this is the box of decision for Bitcoin. All right, this is the box of decision for Bitcoin. Now, if you're a high time frame trader and you don't care about all this volatility, here's what I say. Don't sell your Bitcoin. And the, the very juicy place to start buying for me is going to be 52K. Very, very juicy area to start buying is going to be 52K. Like, if we do come down to this area, I'm, I'm actually going to probably make some spot moves. 
all right? But in general, it's definitely, this is definitely very bullish in the higher term time frame. Uh, and I expect, a, I expect a new high to be put in. Now, my personal view on Bitcoin right now is that we make a new high and then we make a much lower low and come down to test the $52,000 support resistance and then get another bounce. This is my personal view on Bitcoin. This is how I'm currently planning to trade Bitcoin. This is how I am positioning myself as a trader, not as a hodler, but as a trader right now to expect something like this. And why do I expect something like this? Because the weekly says sideways and down. And when the weekly says sideways and down, that means typically we take that high and then we take the low and everybody gets very bearish and then we come back up, right? And so what I'm looking for on that daily time frame right now for a massive juicy swing long trade is going to be a hidden bullish divergence, something like this, all right? Now in bull markets, when you get a momentum wave on the daily that comes down, let's say we get one that comes way low, right? We get a very scary grind to the downside with a capitulation wick to like 52K and then we start to do this, right? For me, if we see that the market cipher B has made a lower wave while the price is bouncing from key support, this is called a hidden bullish divergence. It's a continuation pattern in an uptrend, right? Here's a prime example right here. Money flow, I'm sorry, momentum wave made a lower low price, made a massively higher low, and then we started to get the bounce. This is where I entered the long trade, right? These are going to be the opportunities that you look for in a bull market to really make money in Bitcoin, right? All coins, whatever, you know, you throw a quarter in there, you pull out a million bucks, baby. But yeah, this is really the, the kind of stuff you want to look for for a, a massive swing trade. So that's my, that's my overall take on Bitcoin. And again, the reason why I'm holding these longs, looking for higher, is because the four hour time frame right now is showing me, it looks like she wants to give us another push to the upside. The three hour, same deal, the two hour. Yeah, dancing on the line, the one hour. I think the one hour looks really nice. Look at this. The one hour right now has a hidden bullish divergence. We made a higher low and we come down, make a lower low, nice big bottom on the one hour. Now, by the way, all right, by the way, if you are in the Casper Crew VIP Discord, right, we gave yesterday the short from here and the long from here, all right? Short from here, long from here. Both setups played out very nice yesterday in the Casper Crew, all right? Check it out. Now, I, I, I didn't take, I tried to take that short, all right? But shout out to the Casper Crew, man. Look at this, both trades playing out very nice, man. If you're in the Casper Crew, you gotta be crushing on these charts, because not only am I giving these signals, man, we got a massive pump, all right? These are not signals, okay? They're not signals, just because I say, uh, that I'm long, that's not a signal. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Just because we give trade setups and stuff like that, they're not signals. But look, we also got Boyan in here doing the same thing. Boyan gave the exact same long that I gave, taking the profits. We got K-Pax in here, trading like an absolute maniac, all right? Trading like a maniac, all right? These guys show their trades. Look, he tells you, I opened a long market order, not a signal. But these guys are amazing professional traders and we do multiple live streams every single day in here going over our setups, our plans and all this, all right? Plus we have the best community in the world. Plus we have an entire beginner's course in the Discord, all right? A whole beginner's course, support and resistance, from support and resistance all the way to back testing, risk management so you don't get wrecked with videos and quizzes and all that. And we just started something called The Journey, which is a spot trading journey to teach you discipline, patience, how to compound an account over time slowly with good risk management so you actually get good. All these resources available at jasoncaspertrading.com. All right. All right, Jay Shillington. Jay Shillington. Shilling. Jay, you don't even trade for real. You just are here to sell your Discord. All right. All right. Now, look, I'll tell you another reason why I'm a little bit bullish on Bitcoin right now. Um... As, as we're watching this whole entire, look at this range, guys. Look at this, would you look at this range, man? 
This is called a bullish CBD divergence, man. So basically, from this low to this higher low, we have seen. Let's let's check out what we have seen here. All right, let's check it out. Seven seventy-five million CBD, all the way to. 23 million, all right? 75 million all the way to 23 million. Do you know what that means? It means 50 million, 50 million shorts are being absorbed by bigger players here, right? Now, volume is low. That's true. Volume is low. Especially, it's going to be low. But all things considered, guys, bullish CBD divergences throughout the entirety of this range, all right? We've got, basically since yesterday, bullish CBD divergences. We got the four-hour market cipher B looking like she wants to blow a head gasket. All right. I think once, once, once this four-hour dot prints, I think the move to the upside is going to be triggered. Shout out to all our fat, white, ambiguously gendered college students majoring in trans, non-carbon, binary, emission, gender studies. You guys know what it's like to be triggered. Now, this is actually a picture of me back in college, right after I graduated in trans, non-carbon, because carbon's bad. Binary, emission, gender studies. Man, what a time. What a time, let me tell you. So that's, that's where we're at with Bitcoin, guys. All right, this is a macro perspective on the Bitcoin, okay? So make sure to smash up the likes. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Lower time frame TA. You want to do lower time frame TA on Bitcoin? Yeah, we'll do lower time frame TA. Let's check this out here, all right? check it out we got ourselves our range here now look there's obviously two options diamond reversal pattern is an option but when we go down first of all again context right now higher term time frame say more upside first we'll go to the 24 minute right we did not really see in my opinion a very nice bearish divergence here right money flow getting thicker and then when we came down to the level the long level that we gave in the Casper crew. Um, I mean, look at this, right? It's the level that we gave in the Casper crew. We are getting a bounce from here with a pretty nice looking bottom, all right? Now, why is this such an important level? Well, if we take a look at the, the volume of, of this range, we have basically come down to the point of control slash value area low of the range, and we've gotten a bounce right from support, right from support. Now, when we look at the 24 minute time frame, as we came down to support, what do we see? We see a very, very nice looking bullish divergence. We see the, the coveted uneven butt cheek pattern as the price is getting lower to the key support. We see the uneven butt cheeks popping up, popping up on the chart right here. A nice local uneven cheek pattern. All right, look at this. Beautiful. Snake eye, big boy butt cheeks. We go to the 12 minute. <laughs> look at this guys, 12 minute time frame. As the price is getting lower, what's happening to market cipher B? Multiple drive, pig nipple, pig nipple divergences. All right, pig nipple divergences. All right, let's check, let's check. Pig, pig nipples. Hang on, uh, yeah, here we go. Pig nipple divergences. All right, let's go ahead and just show you the, the, the power of the pigs. All right, look at this. Wow, pig nip divs, and also money flow is now getting higher. And look at this reluctance to print the red dot here. I like the way the 12 minutes looking. Let's go lower. Let's go to the six minute. Six minute money flow getting thicker, momentum getting higher. You know? Yeah, look, I have to say I'm still bullish, guys. I have to say I am still bullish. All right. And, uh,. Obviously, we, we front ran the golden pocket here a bit for the value area low. But if we do get another dip down to the golden pocket, I'll probably open up a fresh long from there because look at how bullish this would look. We'll get the pig nips. If we get that other drop, not only will we have the pig nips, right, but we could have the, the nip cheek, the nip cheek pattern. We'll have the nip cheek pattern, right? We'll get the nips right here, right? We got the nips here, but the nips actually make up one cheek of a nice uneven cheek pattern. So then we got the nip cheek right here. 
like this. All right. You guys see? This is called technical analysis. For anyone's new, this is called technical analysis, all right? So that's what I think, that's what I think locally on, on, on the Bighorn right now. So yeah, I'm still holding the longs, baby. We're holding the longs. And we're, we're shooting for, we're shooting for new highs, all right? We're shooting for new highs, baby. <clears throat> all right, make sure to smash up the likes. Who we got in the chat, man? We got, we got some people in the chat. Shout out to Frankie Fast Hands in the chat. Shout out to Madness in the chat. Shout out to David Thornborough. I'll never see normal chart indicators the same. That's true. You know what? That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Now that your mind is scarred, you'll never miss a good entry again. What are my thoughts on SBF only getting 25 years? You know, I'll be honest about S this whole SBF thing. Like, I, I, I don't have an opinion on it. For me, I... I I just don't have an opinion on it. I, I don't. I don't even. I'm surprised he got sentenced at all. Like clearly, he's like on the inside. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I guess I just don't. I, I don't. I can't form an opinion on it. To be honest with you, you know. Yeah, he did bad things. <laughs> like I. I just don't know. I don't know. People want him to get more. I don't know. I'm, I'm glad I'm not I'm glad I'm not uh, I'm glad I'm not in his position and I'm, I'm glad I'm not involved and I'm glad I don't have to worry about it you know we're just out here doing what we do yeah this is kind of how I feel Zwift Ace SBF will be go out on good behavior in five years yeah I mean like it, the whole thing's kind of like a joke it's kind of like a game right I mean uh, FTX was kind of used as a fundraiser for a lot of nefarious things and uh, a lot of powerful people uh, probably have a good word in for good old SBF. And so whatever's happening, I'm pretty sure it's all theater. It's all theater, like everything, like politics is a theater. It's literally a show, right? It's just a show, it's a TV show. Yeah, like real life is kind of involved in it, but at the end of the day, it's just the, the bread and circus for the intellectuals, you know? So, we're just here to make money while we can so that we can homestead, grow our own food, raise our own animals, raise our children up in a godly way so that the next generation isn't totally screwed. You know what I'm saying? So that not everybody in the next generation is like this. You know, the, uh, the good old, the good old, um, you know, you know what I'm talking about, alright? So, yeah. All right, we hit the golden pocket on Binance. Interesting, okay, interesting. Alex, you start taking the course a week ago and you're confused? Um, man, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I, I really try my best to communicate, right? I really try my best to communicate. It's his clone. Lewis says it's his clone going to jail, not him. Yeah, I mean, like, maybe that wouldn't even surprise me. Nothing, literally nothing would surprise me. And here's something else, guys. It's impossible to know at all these days what is real and what is not right with with ai technology and deep fakes anything can be manipulated you could make anybody say or do anything if, if you haven't seen it with your own eyes who knows and even if you do see it with your own eyes who even knows anymore man all right shout out to the crypto killers <laughs> he says 25 years in prison means six juanita is dating our boy now no option left for her yeah, that's right, man. Now six Juanita has to date us, which is another reason why I think Bitcoin is gonna pop straight to 100k, baby. Let me see a blue candle. You know. You know. Yeah, the good old own nothing and be happy. Yeah, the good old own nothing and be happy. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. Pop some altcoins into the chat. All right, let's let's take a look at some altcoins here. Pop some alts in the chat. Let's see. Let's take a look at some coins. Alright, shout out to Alex B. He wants me to take a look at FTM. <laughs> yeah, we can take a look. Shout out to, to, to Graham Slam. He says, I have an extra pep in my step. I must be bullish. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling bullish, man. Look, I'm feeling bullish. I just gave out my bullish Bitcoin case. Let's take a look at FTM. All right. 
Phantom. The Phantom Menace. All right, this is great, guys. Now, last time we did analysis on FTM, we were saying we've broken out of the diagonal resistance, and we were looking for a move up to our horizontal resistance, which is support resistance flip, basically from this previous support resistance flip in the in the old bull market, right? And we say if we get this, we look for a rejection, all right, and we look for a retest. And for me, right now, FTM, the place I'd look for the retest is this area right here, right? Around 65, 50 to 65 cents because this is now going to be our support resistance flip, right? This is now going to be our support resistance flip. We have this high here, we have these highs here, and we have the golden pocket and the 786, which means if we happen to get a pullback of approximately, you know, 40-ish percent, you know, especially if Bitcoin does get a pullback after a big high put in next week, right? Then for me, that's a major buy zone. It's a major buy zone for me on FTM here. And I do believe we're going to see new highs. If we don't get a pullback then and we do flip this into support, then we immediately see the high, right? But this is the key level here. For me, if I was not in Phantom, I would wait until a pullback to this zone. Because look, we're looking at this like floors of a house, right? This is the floor of the house that used to be the ceiling. It was the ceiling one, two, three times. We break out of the ceiling. Now we're coming into another ceiling, right? This was the floor one, two, three times. Actually, if we're gonna be real, look at how support resistance flips are just, these are the areas you wanna be looking for on a chart, right? We have resistance once, twice, and then it's support one, two, three times. And now we're coming up to it again and it's basically acting as our resistance here, right? So what used to be the ceiling got flipped into the floor, and now it's the ceiling again. And so what used to be the ceiling down here, we are looking now to be the floor. So when we come back down from the ceiling to the floor, this is our buy zone, and then we look to come up to the next ceiling, which would be up here, right? That's how I'm looking at FTM. All right, let's see who else we got. In the chat, yo. In the chat, yo. All right. All right. Shout out to Lack Winder who says Phil and Cake. Phil and Cake. Let's take a look at Phil and Cake. Now, y'all know how I feel about Phil. Right? I'm bullish on Phil. I've got me some Phil. I got me a bag of Phil. I filled up a bag. All right. This is my. This is my fill plan here. Now, guys, look at this, all right? This is the last setup that we gave on fill on this channel, all right? Played out to a T, baby. So, essentially, we bought fill before the breakout. Back in December, we bought fill right here, saying, as long as we are not broken out of this triangle, this is our buy zone. Now that we've broken out of the triangle, breakout, retest, this is our buy zone. We've gotten the retest. Okay, to be honest with you, my next target for Phil is going to be this support resistance flip at around $21, and then $44, and then $90, right? This is what I'm looking at on Phil. It's looking really good. If we get more of a pullback here, obviously, anywhere underneath uh, the triangle is, is a buy zone. But this has a lot of upward potential, a lot, even from where we're at right now. We're talking, you know, almost about, about 1,000% gains, all right? If we bought before the breakout, you know, yeah, like 1,500% gains. But yeah, from where we're at right now, about 1,000% uh, gain potential here. So yeah, I'm bullish on it. I hold it. I'd say that this is a, a sign of strength right here. The breakout and the retest, that's a sign of strength. You know, I would have preferred to uh, get in a few days ago if I was going to get in here on Wednesday, uh, two weeks ago. But look, this is really nice. We got uh, the daily time frame right here. Money flow getting thicker, a nice bottom as we retest that trend line. Yeah, I'm bullish on Phil coin, man. Bullish on the Phil. Bullish on the Phil. All right, let's take a look at ICP. Shout out to uh, Javin, uh, Javith Abarbar. Bar. Sorry if I mispronounce your name here. Yeah, we'll do ICP. First, we have to do cake. We said we would do cake, all right? Man, I love cake, guys. Cake is tasty. 
I never eat cake. I never ever eat cake. It's not worth it to me to eat cake. It's not worth it to me to eat cake. Alright. Cake looks good to me. I'll tell you why. We have gotten a breakout of this. And you could even say breakout and retest in this little area here. Um... We got some very bullish divergences on the weekly right down here. So that is a macro bottom signal. Very rare that we don't bottom out after that. And then we've broken resistance and we're about to get a money flow cross on the weekly. Money flow crosses on the weekly, guys. That's where the real gains are at here. So we are at horizontal resistance right here of this range since May 2022. So yeah, I would say like a break above this now and a retest of this with a blue money flow cross. That's go time, man. That's go time on cake. We could see a move back up to around 21 bucks. That's like 300%. We'd probably see a move up to around, let's check this out. Yeah, really? Hang on. Uh, yeah, maybe actually, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe 18 bucks. Value area high of that previous range. But uh, is this the best entry now? Of course it's not, right? That's the thing. Of course it's not the best entry now. We've already had a 300% rise. And we're looking for about a 300% gain. So it's like a one-to-one -one risk reward. But if you want to say... You know, let's let's say you want to wait for a breakout and retest, then you have yourself a better risk to reward setup. But again, the higher a coin pumps, the the more risky it is, right? That's how I look at it. And there's there's a lot of coins that have not yet had the break, right? So let's say we we wait for like a, a breakout and a retest, and then we can shoot for something like this. It's a five to one risk reward ratio, five times more potential gain than loss. Right, and that looks pretty nice when we take it off logarithmic. I have it on logarithmic, but yeah, that could be that could be something I, I would say is more uh, a higher probability, and especially if we see the blue money flow on good old MCB. All right, let's check out Bitcoin here. All right, shout out to all my super chats in the house. Y'all are absolutely amazing. All right, let's check them out. Who we got in here? Shout out to iBird, GRT, Brock Landers. Thank you for the super chat. You want to look at WLD? Shout out to uh, Burkur, he says, Gala, and Villa Dez. Could you look at Ali and Casper? Yeah, absolutely. Let's start out with GRT. Gert. 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 Isn't that the sound that, uh, like, uh, that mumble rapper, the, the, the hype man for the mumble rappers make in the background? Like, the mumble rappers, like, and and in the background, some guys are like, grr, 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 grr. I think that's what it is. Graph token looks pretty good. Uh, okay. What do I think about this? Well, I think my treadmill just stopped, so we got to restart that. Give me one second here, guys. So we're looking at GERT. Obviously, it's bullish. We have bullish market structure. We made a bull div on the weekly. Higher high, higher low, higher high. Um, and we are coming up right now to a support resistance flip. I would say this. This, to me, just seems like the logical place to buy GERT. Right? Do you guys see this? We're coming up to a resistance. We look for a pullback to support. That's coming in at around uh, $2.85 down to around, I'm sorry, 
It's coming around 28 cents. <laughs> 28 cents down to around 22 cents the the golden pocket in the 786 from the most recent low to most recent high and it's just a clear support resistance flip that literally goes back to 2021 right we have the low and then we have the high perfectly retested right that's what i would kind of look at right there all right Oh, it's skirt. It's skirt, not girt. I'm sorry. Skirt and not girt. Yeah, my bad, my bad. My bad. I'm not into the mumble rap. I'm not. And I love rap. You guys know. All right. I remember the first time I heard some of these new rappers that have like millions of views. It has to be fake. It has to be fake, right? Maybe maybe I'm just too, too old school, but I thought it was a joke. I thought like, there's no way like this is real, right? Mumble rappers and other like rappers... I thought Young Thug was a was a troll. I thought it was a troll. I thought Two Chains was a joke. The name Two Chains? Are you kidding me? That's it sounds like a troll. Like it sounds like something I would do. It sounds like something I would I would be a rapper called Two Chains. And wear two chains and have like mediocre raps on the internet. Like I thought because I'm a troll, you know. That's what I thought it was. And then I found out it's real. And then I found out he's like massively popular. I'm like, is this how is this possible? Then I felt old, right? I felt old, but man, talk about the degradation of the art form of hip hop. Sheesh, man. I mean, objectively speaking, this is a whole bunch of gar garbage. All right, let's see. Yeah, my, my, my rap name should be two fibs. You're right, two fibs. Shout out to Fit Genius 618. All right. All right, let's take a look at our other, our other, our other super chats in the house. All right, shout out to Brock Landers, WLD. Yeah, we'll take a look. All right. Um. Okay, it looks very bullish to me. I think you guys know what I'm about to say. It looks really bullish. Um, and look, the one scenario is that we just continue to make higher lows here and break out, right? We've seen Bitcoin do this a million times in very bullish markets. You know, we, we're, we fail to change market structure and we just do this and then bam, we break out, right? We see that happen often. So if you want to get risky with it, with world coin because you think you know it's the mark of the beast and all people rich and poor free and bond they're gonna have to get a, the world coin on their forehead or right hand or they won't be able to buy and sell and you're like you know what i'm not down for that but let me make a little money on this on the side so before that happens i could dip off into the wilderness with all my all my cattle and my bitcoin and try and survive right that's your mentality maybe you want to buy this but for me that's not my mentality right that's not my mentality. I'd rather wait for an opportunity to come down here, you know, and uh, buy at the Golden Pocket Support Resistance Flip, stop out all the liquidity, and I'm, I would look at this more as our range, right? Our sideways range right here. Support Resistance Flip. This is the low of our range. This is the high of our range. We come down to the low of the range. We look for a buy, and a bam. That's what I would look at for, uh, for WorldCoin good old world coin you know scan your eyeball and all this kind of stuff all right let's see who else we got in the chat huge shout out to Villa Dez or Via could you look at Ali and Casper yeah let's take a look take a look at Ali and Casper
All right, liquidity on this on this thing is absolute garbaggio. So if you're buying this, I don't know, be prepared for not being able to get your orders filled. Um, well, look, objectively speaking, objectively speaking, Money flow is getting thicker, and we have a nice dot forming on the daily after a change in market structure, which, which to me looks bullish, right? Let's pull the fib from low to high. We're bouncing from the 786. We're bouncing from the high volume node of this range. So yeah, for me, I'll be honest, like I don't know anything about Alley Coin. But for me, this is a this is a buy zone. Like this is a buy for me. If I was bullish on Alicoin, this is absolutely a place I would start to deploy capital. Why? Because it looks bullish on the market structure. It looks bullish on the market cipher. We had a very nice bullish bottom with bullish divergence, money flow crossing to the upside, momentum waves getting higher. From the time we got the bullish divergences, we have established an uptrend, high, low, higher high, higher low, higher high, taking out all these previous highs here. And now we've gotten a retest to the Fibonacci Golden Pocket 786 zone. We've, um, we're retesting what used to be major resistance now as support. And we're in entering into a bull market. So for me, this is absolutely a, a buy opportunity. And I don't know anything about this fundamentally. Alley coin, I don't know even what it is. Artificial liquid intelligence, all right? So it's smart water, all right? This is smart water it, it, it knows what minerals it's deficient in all right your water needs more i don't know magnesium or whatever it just automatically adds more magnesium with the with the black goo that could just shape shift into any kind of mineral all right the nanobots in there going through your body shooting tumors so yeah it sounds smart sounds like look i don't know anything about alley coin but if you're bullish on this thing fundamentally, just based on the technicals of the chart, this is this is the, the place to buy. You know, I'm not buying it, I don't own it, not financial advice. All right, I'm not buying it, I don't own it, not financial advice. All right, shout out to Josh Corbin. Can we check Jasmine? Yeah, we'll check Jasmine. Jasmine. Wowzers, man, woof, wow. Ah. Oh. All right, now, as you guys know, I bought Jasmine back in December. I've been very bullish on it. I'm expecting higher targets. Whoops. Hang on, let's get back to our Jasmine chart. Like, so look, I expect higher targets on Jasmine. Next target is gonna be 31 cents at that resistance, okay? It's bullish. Where would I buy Jasmine? Well, it's the same thing as these other coins, right? First of all, make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell, because when we analyze these coins, we give the juicy levels that you gotta be looking out for, right? A lot of these coins we're looking at, we've already given the entry on, so you don't wanna miss that stuff. But there's two options, just like there was for one of those other coins we just looked at either. You know, we have one of these and break out, or we get some kind of a back test. Now, if we get a back test on Jasmine, what looks really nice to me is going to be the Golden Pocket uh, 786 zone because this is our area of consolidation over here, right? We have this area of consolidation right here. Just drag it out to the side. Bam. Okay, support resistance flip. I would love to come down into this area and then get our pump. Why this area? Well, if we zoom in a little bit more, let's go to the four hour. We're, we've been building liquidity to the downside, okay? Now again, building liquidity to the downside does not mean we have to go on a liquidity hunt. In very bullish scenarios, we never do that. In very bullish scenarios, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, bam, all right? But healthy retest scenarios, we do a liquidity hunt to wreck everybody who longed the top, to have a healthy correction, and then we pump. So if I was looking for a spot to get in on Jasmine, it would have to be coming back down to the historical support resistance flip, right? On the two day, you, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to see that this is a key, key area, right? 
So we've gotten a break out of a key area. Now we wait for retest. If retest doesn't come, well, you have two options, FOMO in at the top or don't get in, right? For me, the way I like to trade and buy things, I'd rather miss an opportunity than FOMO in. That's just the way I do it, all right? But you're free to do whatever you want. That's what's so great. About crypto, you could do whatever you want, man. You're your own bank. All right, we got some super chats in the house. Let's check out who else. All right, Caspa. Yeah, we'll check out Caspa. All right, let's check out Caspa. All right, so Caspa broken out. Um, so for me, Casper, same deal as some of these other coins, right? I, I, I mean, I'm probably going to sound like a broken record to use that term. But look, we have this channel here. So you have a few options. Either you trade the channel and you look for longs at the low of the channel. Every time we, we, we come, you know, to the low of the channel, you look for a buy opportunity. Assuming, like, if you're super bullish on this and you think we're just going to do this and then uh, bam, then you know when we come to the bottom of the channel, this is where I put in my buys, right? If you'd rather wait for a better opportunity that might not come, wait for the lows to all get li liquidated, right? Wait for everybody who's buying the bottom of the channel to panic sell and then you can buy, right? This for me is a better opportunity. And that's gonna be coming in at around seven-ish cents. Uh, basically, it's the golden pocket support resistance. I'm sorry, the golden pocket pull from the last major swing low to our current high. Back testing the value area high of this entire range, right? Basically, we're looking to give all this back here for a proper retest of what used to be resistance from April all the way to October 2023, right? Those are your two options. Now it's up for you to decide how to proceed. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. All right. Huge shout out to iBird. He wants to look at cheese, aka chilies. Go look at chilies, man. Chilies. Me and my wife, we used to go to chilies back in the day when we lived in the city. We would go there and we would we would eat. Let me tell you, because chilies they give you as many chips as you could fit into your your stomach cavity. And back in the day, when we went out to eat, our goal was how can we spend the least amount of money to have the most amount of food? And let me tell you, Chili's, all right? They had this deal, you could get two meals for $20 and all the chips you could eat. And let me tell you, the workouts the next day, after gorging yourself on simple carbs and table salt, you get the most insane bicep and chest pumps as you're curling and doing push-ups in the squat rack. The bicep veins are coming out, you know? Your legs are skinny, your back's totally undeveloped, but your biceps look like you're taking the Liver King special, baby. Now, Chili's, all right, has broken out. We have not yet gotten a retest. As I have said in previous times, to me, this this is a buy. Like, anything here or below is, is a buy for Chili's, and then I would shoot for new highs on this coin i would shoot for new highs first target would be the top around 88 cents my second target would be around 10 uh i'm sorry not 88 cents first target would be yeah about a dollar like about a dollar then i would i would hold the moon bag i would hold the moon bag the, the way i got this target is just looking at this thing as a massive bull pennant right so who knows i'm not saying it's gonna go that high but i would say this definitely this is a reasonable, uh, a reasonable setup for spot, right? We have bullish divergences. As we come down to the bottom of a very bullish pattern, entering into a bull market, we have a change of market structure. We have money flow crossing into the blue. So yeah, this this would be kind of how I, I would play this thing. I would definitely look to hit a TP at the highs, but then around a dollar, but then I would hold a moon bag because if this pattern plays out, man, it could be juicy. It could be juicy. Now look, we'll take this thing off logarithmic for a second here and let's zoom in. Even just shooting for our highs here, right? 
even just shooting for our highs here, you can see there's much more upward potential than downward potential here. And you could even make a case if we take this thing off logarithmic that we haven't seen the move yet, right? You can make the case that we haven't seen the move yet because money flow is just crossing into the blue now. All right, money flow is just crossing into the blue now on the weekly. So, look at that, man. All right, not financial advice. Yeah, the Liver King special, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Eating raw testicles, make sure that uh, you tan your ball sack every day out in the wild. And uh, the nine ancestral tenants, you know. All right, let's see, let's see what else we got here. ETH, ETH. All right, we'll look at ETH. What is ETH? Again, Ethereum. All right. Let me quickly remove the Casper Crew VIP TA here. So man, ETH rejecting from the macro 786, right? Break out of the triangle, very, very bullish. Obviously we all expect new all time highs on ETH. ETH will follow Bitcoin. Personally, I expect ETH to also make a new high. I'll tell you why. The daily right now to me looks very bullish. It looks like there's more upside and ETH actually came and did take the lows of the range. And then we got a very, very bullish candle, daily close above that. Uh, not quite a bullish engulfing. Not quite bullish engulfing. But yeah, I, I would expect a new high on, on Ethereum as well. Whoa. Uh -oh. I like the daily money flow on ETH. Let's check out our four hour. Yeah, look at the four hour, guys. <laughs> ETH, ETH looks like she wants to pump, man. When this trigger wave prints on the four hour, man. ETH is about to go on a wild ride, baby. ETH is about to go on a wild ride. All right, can we look at Navi on Gate.io? Yeah. I don't I don't see it. Am I I don't see it on gate IO. I must be tripping out. I do not see it. Shout out to Holt, but thank you so much for the $2 super chat. Maybe if you put the right ticker in there, but I, I don't see it. Uh, can we check out uh, on candy? Om um, nom? Sure. <laughs> Right. Om nom. You put a hundred bucks in yesterday. Let's check it out. Wow. You know, I mean, um, it's just pumped like crazy. You put a hundred dollars in yesterday. Oh my goodness. I don't know, man. Like, look, I don't know. Uh, I mean, worst case scenario, you lose a hundred bucks if it keeps pumping. I mean, we've just come up insane percentages. So, so, you know, I, I it's not going to tell me, but look, we have a money flow cross on the weekly. Money flow cross in the weekly, bearish div on the daily. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really do analysis on it. I would say this for me, man, if we get a drop back down to this golden pocket from low to high, I would buy some of this. I would buy some of this. 
You put a hundred bucks in, I, I would just hold it, man. I would just hold it. I would just hold it. You put a hundred bucks in, just hold it. I mean, yeah, you're down. Just hold it. Just hold it. It's only a hundred bucks. But that's not financial advice. But look, if we take out these guys. Right? We take out these guys here. And we come back down to retest this guy. Man, oh man. That would be juicy, huh? That would be so juicy. A juicy buy. I'm going to set an alert. Buy Omnom. All right, shout out to my man Tino. Trader oh! My treadmill just broke. Just kidding. Shout out to Tino from Traders Reality. He says, uh, happy Good Friday, bro. Happy Good Friday to you, man. God bless you. Shout out to Tino. Guys, if you're not subscribed to Tino's channel, then make sure that uh, you go subscribe. Let let's see if we get... Let, 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 let's, let's pop his channel on here. Looking at pig nipples up in here, all right? Let's see here. Where's Tino's channel? It's going to be hard to find it now. I'm going to have to search for it. Yeah, make sure to go subscribe, all right? This dude, he gives the juicy sauce every single day for free. An expert trader. All right, look at these thumbnails. Man, master thumbnail creator. Look at this. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. He knows how to use a good a good picture in his thumbnails. All right. Make sure to go subscribe to Tino from Traders Reality, y'all. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. I appreciate you. God bless you. Happy Good Friday to you. All right. Can we check out uh, orbs? Yeah. O R D S. So all I can say about orgs right now, okay, is that we are back testing a value area high as support. And the four hour time frame looks very bullish to me, right? Money flow getting higher, momentum getting higher here as we consolidate at a major support resistance flip, right? So, shout out to Tino in the house. Yeah, bro, you broke my treadmill twice, man. You broke my treadmill twice. The pig nipples? Yeah, the pig nipples, bro. Sorry about that. Yeah, so look, we're getting real bullish here on the four hour. I would have to say this, y'all. If I was gonna be buying this on spot, this is how I would want to do it, all right? You gotta make, first of all, I don't know what orgs is, all right? I have no idea. I'm not buying this. I don't plan to buy this, all right? I'm, I'm only a technical trader only. This is honestly how I would look to to buy this thing, all right? We're at the golden pocket. We're, we're at key support resistance flip. I would, if I was looking to build a position on this, I would buy so long as we're in the triangle, saying there's a good probability that the triangle breaks out. But in the back of my mind, I would be saying, if we get a fake out of the triangle, that's really where I would go in hard. A fake out of these lows and then immediate reclaim. Like if I come to the chart and I see that we've wicked down below here and then we close uh, a daily or a four hour candle above, I'd say a daily candle because liquidity is pretty bad on this thing. We start to close daily candles above after wicking this out and the four hour continues to give us the, the pig nipple pattern, all right? The pig nipple pattern on the four hour that's really where I would go in on this. Now, again, I don't know anything about this coin. I'm not looking to buy it. But when I when I see the pig nipples forming in a triangle, in a bull market, at support, I say, you know what? This is this is a place where I get interested. 
in buying. And the, the most interesting buy opportunity I would see here is wreck all these guys and then immediately see the bounce with the pig nipple still on the chart. And then we could look to make a new high. That would be a really strong support resistance flip in my opinion. Essentially, like look at what we did here, guys. Right? Look at what we did here. This is this is what I, I want to happen for all these coins that I'm showing you. These are the best opportunities. Right? You form a low, a higher low, a higher low, a higher low, and then you wreck them all. And then you get to move up, right? Now, obviously, this happened at a different place in the chart. Right now, we're seeing that happen at a key support. This was not a key support. This was price discovery mode. Now we're coming back down to retest key support. This is key support based on the volume, right? Now, again, this is a sketchy chart. Like, it's sketchy. This is not the cleanest price action at all, okay? So I'm working with what I got, all right? But yeah, that's that's my thoughts on, on, on Ord. All right, Ord. All right. All right, let's check out who else we got in the in with the super chats. Man, we, we got the super chats piling in here. All right, is MTS a super giant, a sleeping giant? MTS. Well, on the four hour, the giant's been woken. On the weekly, the giant has been woken. Um, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I cannot do any kind of analysis on this coin. I cannot. I don't have enough data here to work with. All I can say is this. Right now, we have bullish market structure because we had resistance that got flipped into support, and now we've made a higher high. But we're getting bear divs on the four hour. I would say this. I would look for another move back down to support. To either make a higher low or a slightly lower low back into this zone. That's the only place I I, I don't know enough about this coin. Um, is it a sleeping giant? Like maybe it is. So I don't know anything about this fundamentally. I, I don't know what this is. Meta plus. Meta plus token. All right. I don't know what it is. If somebody came to to me and said, Jason, I want you to, uh, I want you to uh, manage my crypto portfolio and I want you to build a position on Meta Plus token, I would be very interested in starting to build that position if we came back down to this area here. I, I can't, I, I don't really have anything else to work with. Could it just keep pumping? Yeah, of course. Of course it could. Let's check out our uh, our daily. Like, uh, to me, I would look for more of a pullback here based on our four hour. Even based on our one hour, we got bear divs, money flow, and momentum. I would love a little bit more of a, of a pullback here. Bitcoin dumping. Bitcoin taking a little bit of a dump here. Come on, Bitcoin. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna renege on my uh, my bullish bias yet. All right, I'm gonna hold it to the death. I'm gonna hobble it to the death. All right, shot. Anavi ticker. Oh, okay. Anavi, 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 Anavi. On Gatio, the Gatio exchange, the Gatio exchange, the Gatio exchange. All right, here, let's take a look at this right now. That's what we got going on here? All right, there's not too much information here on the weekly time frame. Let's go to the daily. Look, the daily time frame looks quite bullish to me. Um, shout out to anybody who uh, was long and somehow took profits up here. When was that? <laughs> e 
Yeah, daily time frame looks very bullish to me, guys. Man, it looks nice. It looks so nice, guys. Um, what the heck happened with that? It looks really bullish to me. Um, looks like we're about to get another push up here. That's crazy, that wick. All right, so, you know, I think it's bullish. For me, like a nice opportunity would would have to be a, re a retest of, of these lows here. That'd be really, really nice. Um, other than that, I, I don't really see a good entry unless you want to FOMO in. It does look bullish to me on the daily. The four hour has a nice hidden bullish divergence as well here locally. It looks bullish, I, but I, I can't really give like an exact setup or entry on it. My market cipher settings, it's just stock settings, man. Like there's nothing different about it. It just is what it is. You know, that's it. That's it. And they just changed the colors. Uh, shout out to you, thank you for the super chat. What do I think about the Kronos eco ecosystem? Well, I hear good things about it. You know, I see good I see thumbnail good thumbnails about it when I surf through crypto YouTube. That's about the extent of my view on it. So last time we did analysis on this guys, I gave you this level. So that was last week we were looking at crow. I said, let's come down to this level for the retest. So that's why you gotta subscribe to the channel, y'all. But look, so we're in between. We've come down to support, and um, look on the higher term time frames. This is what we're dealing with, right? We've gotten our bounce. Now the next move on Crow I would look at would be would be this: a breakout and a retest of this level, and then we'd shoot up to the 33 cent zone, and then we shoot all the way up to the uh, 95 cent zone, right? This is this is the next move for Kronos, Kronos, Kronos right we got the breakout the retest we come up to resistance we back test support now we look to break out resistance back test that support and then we can get the next move to the upside shout out to fern and eight what do i think about icp phil and link we've already taken a look at phil let's take a look at icp i think link is very bullish i hold a lot of link i'm looking for new highs All right, so same deal right now with ICP. Look, guys, ICP is forming the channel, right? Which means we can look for buys at the low of the channel or we can wait for the liquidity grab. And then a major buy zone for me would be between $6 and $9, right? Because we're coming back down to test a major support resistance split that goes all the way back to May, 2022. And uh, it's also a Fibonacci golden pocket in keeping with the uptrend, right? But you have two options here. You might be the kind of person that says, no, it's too bullish. It's just too bullish. We're not going to get the pullback. Okay, then you buy within this flag then. And the next buy within the flag is going to be a higher low right here. And then the breakout, because this is the high volume of the range, the golden pocket, the 786. If you believe we're going to break out of this, this is the buy zone at around 1350. If you'd rather wait for a better opportunity and potentially miss on the pump, but wait for a much higher probability opportunity, wait for all these people to get wrecked into the support resistance flip at an average price of around eight bucks, right? It's a zone six, six to $9, but we'll, we'll say eight, right? Shout out to Top Miami. Can we look at Jupe and Suey? All right, let's look at Jupiter. Look at Jupiter. All right, so Jupe 
Jupe is forming a, uh, a bull pennant here on the daily time frame. So, man, I know I, I probably sound like a broken record, man. But the reason why I sound like a broken record is because, you know, there are certain patterns, and when they when they happen, they give you the best opportunities in these markets. So I like to wait for those good opportunities. You know, right now, we are making lower highs, and we are making higher lows. The best case scenario I see for this is a fake out into this box, right? The box is our local, you know, and here's why, here's how I got the box, right? We formed a really nice bottom with bullish divergences here on the daily, right? I'm so, was that the daily or the four? I think, yeah, the four hour, because we don't have much history, right? We have both divs, money flow crossing, and then we change market structure, right? We make a higher high for the first time, showing us, okay, there's a bullish trend. Then, after our higher high, we make a higher low. And so I pull the Fib from the most recent swing higher low to our most recent high. And the Fibonacci golden retrace is right down here. All right. It's also the fake out of this triangle. Right? So the fake out target of our triangle is right into our box. And so... That's what I would be lo honestly looking for. Now, you might say, okay, it's a triangle. I, I want to long the breakout or I want to build a position in the triangle waiting for the breakout. That's your decision, but is that the most probable? I'd say there's an equal chance we break down right now than break up or break up. So if you want to build here and then we break up, that's amazing. Another opportunity is let's say you have a hundred bucks to invest in this thing and you want some exposure now. Maybe put like 25% in and then save the rest for an in, in case of dump scenario, right? To, to DCA into there. So your average entry is somewhere around here, right? I mean, there's different ways to approach, but when we're coming to a chart, we need to have a, some kind of a strategy and, and you could have a plan and your plan doesn't play out and then you miss that opportunity. And for me, that's always okay, right? Because there's always going to be so many opportunities out here, guys, especially in these altcoins, you know? We could find opportunities all day. I mean, we've made insane gain. I have made insane gains on random altcoins in the past few months just by looking at these charts, looking for breakouts, looking for retests. You know, Gala, we made insane gains. Jasmine, uh, I forget them. I forget them all. Y'all know the ones, the ones we bought back in December. All right. Let's pop on over to our Bitcoin trade and see how she's doing. Oof, she's she's dumping. She's dumping. All right, guys. I'm going to head out. I'm going to call it a stream. I'm going to call it a week. Uh, to anybody who celebrates Good Friday, Resurrection Day, may you and your family be blessed. And look, I mean, that's, that's the whole... That's the whole central core message of the good news to mankind is that God himself, even though mankind was in a sinful and fallen state, he, he took on flesh, the form of a human being, to die to pay for all the wrong things that humanity has done. To pay the price for those things. But then he, he rose to life again on the third day to vindicate that, yes, he is God. He is the Son of God. And so now if we purpose it in our heart to want to follow him instead of following after our own fallen nature he will give us his holy spirit to fundamentally change us so we can actually walk in his ways and so that we can have the hope of eternal purpose and a physical literal bodily resurrection from the dead to exist in a in the state that mankind was originally created to live in when god created everything and he said it is very good that hope is only found in jesus that's it so that's my hope. That's what gets me out of bed every morning, y'all. Hope everyone has a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Peace.